Chris here with Palmer Aquatics. A lot of you guys know I set up a beta fish tank about two weeks ago and something kind of weird happened to the driftwood inside the tank. It started to grow this white algae like gelatin substance and this is very common when you put a new piece of driftwood in your tank. It's kind of just new to the ecosystem and it's like a diatom algae that grows on there. There's a couple different routes you can go. Um, number one, you can get like an algae eater like a pleco or a bristle nose and that's what I'm going to do in this case or else you can just take the piece of wood out yourself and scrub it. I knew that I was going to be doing a water change on this tank anyways, so I went ahead and dropped in a pleco. Please stand by 24 hours later. I gave this pleco one night's worth of time and it seems that he has cleaned up the driftwood in here and it worked out great, but I can see already that there is a ton of pleco poop sitting on the bottom of the tank guys this is one night's worth of time it looks like enough pleco poop to be like 100 times worth of its stomach size so obviously i'm gonna have to do a water change but like i said i knew that i had to do a water change anyway so this is my planned route and i have a really easy water change system and it's really easy for me to just plop and drop this in and suck the water out and put new water in so there's two different ways to fix this algae problem on the driftwood like i was saying you can drop in a bottom feeder like a pleco or a bristle nose or else you can just take out the driftwood yourself and just clean it off and to be completely honest i think just taking out the driftwood yourself and scraping it off would probably be easier and less of a mess because it's uh well here's the final turnout it did it did turn out okay for me because i have a tremendously easy water system that i change tanks with and that's a huge key but if you're hooking up a water changer to the sink and you don't have extra plecos just laying around in tanks i'm guessing that just removing it yourself would be better so and now i have to remove the pleco just because i uh i do not want this pleco in this tank because i'd be dealing with that amount of poop probably every other day and yeah, plecos man this is so crazy and it's probably showing why these things are so invasive and i i swear they can consume like so much more than what other fish can and they're such a sturdy fish that it actually is it scares me because uh they're just they're a crazy fish man the beta fish is a lot happier without that pleco in the tank let's be honest because he was like six times the size and just hogging up the space kind of freaking out my beta that's my boy um i also want to give a shout out to my new facebook group guys it's palmer aquatics vip it is a subscription facebook group so you'll pay one dollar a month and i'm constantly in this facebook group this is my baby and if you guys want to just do one-on-one -on -one interaction with me or if you have questions or uh just anything, man. I do. I try to go live every single day, and it's really cool. This is gonna be like, uh, you know, the proceeds are gonna go to helping me build my shop. It's it's getting there. Um, it's I kind of run out of funds, and then I get to start again. I run out of funds, and the YouTube helps it, and this Facebook group is also gonna help it. Um, also check out my other videos here. The thumbnail should be right here. And without further ado. Um, I guess it sounds corny, but I, uh, I just love hanging out with other fish keepers. I love you guys and keep keeping your fish healthy. All right, guys.